Good evening. Welcome to uh, the Five Cs. I am Planet Head or Ashford Rogers. And a little bit of an update. Uh, this whole video might be a big hint or at least an experiment. Um, I like, I've lately been trying to do some hints um, at the beginning of the game. Um, today I'm going to be messing around just in station mostly. Uh, because it's taken about an extra week to do so, but I was able to build my first hurricane with the scrap parts of all of the ships that are out here. Here she is. Uh, I don't have a name for her yet. This is my first built battle cruiser. Um, basically, I uh, uh, killed a bunch of uh, NPC characters, melted down the parts and was able to build this lovely little ship right here. He's, she's pretty cool looking. Um, I have never flown one, never fit one. This is kind of the fun part. Um, man, that is pretty cool looking. Completely different from the Gnosis that I've been flying. I've been flying the Gnosis recently, the one that they gave us in the 18-year uh, anniversary. While they are both battle cruisers, um, there is a... a bit of a difference and I'll just pull that up here um, we'll come back to you my friend I don't have a name for you yet actually I don't have a name for any of my ships here <laughs> maybe maybe it's bad luck for me to name my ships but we're gonna jump into the gnosis that I was flying um, basically uh, the it there she is right there she's been doing a nice little job for me it was a free ship that uh, Eve gave me gnosis like uh, some of the other um, who are you made by? Made by... Oop, there's my description. There we go. They're made by this... S-O-C-T, that's Sisters of Collective Thought, or Society of Collective Thought. Um, they are ships that you can fly without any skills, basically. I fly this battle cruiser. Um, I got a message. Cool. Uh, guy like my best friend uh, Craig just started watching Upload on Amazon. Uh, I told him about it. And I said, "Man, this I watched it about six months ago. It's great, great comedy, but it's uh, it's a little bit more to it too. It's made by the same people that made Parks and Rec. Does not matter. Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, there's my hint for you uh, on Amazon Prime. Watch Upload. It's a good show. Um, so, uh, long story short, this is the Gnosis. It is uh, made by the Society of Conscious Thought, I think. Um, and it's basically an all-around ship. We'll just pull up the uh, special sh stuff here. Um, the traits, as you can see here, it has a 25% bonus on its turreting. Any type of turret that you want to throw on there. It also gets a command bonus, burst bonus, which... I don't fly in any fleets right now, but down the road that might be helpful. Get some missile bonuses, so you're either firing guns or firing missiles. Um, and it gets a 50% bonus to hit, uh, bonus to drone, hit points, and damage. And then it even has a core probe scanner out here. So if you want to just fly your Gnosis around and scan down combat sites, Gnosis is a pretty good ship to do. It's a fairly cheap ship. Because, especially right now, because uh, it was given out for free <laughs> by to all the, I think I think it was uh, given out to all the Omega accounts that are out there. So I think that's made the price of a tank. But I, I do love the look of it. It's completely different from any other ship that's out there. It's just a weird looking monstrosity. Uh, the fit that I have on it right now is really bad, uh, as always. Basically all. Parts that I have scavenged out here in Nolsec. I don't think I've actually bought anything for this. Uh, 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 other than I have built the uh, ammo. And it's just basic fusion ammo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of this. And uh, we're going to snip it here. So I have record of it. I know I could save it in fits or stuff like that. But I'm not too worried about it. I just want to do it as a comparison. So I can overlay it. Once I strip it. Now, if you notice here, the uh, even with the fittings, 
it's only worth 44.2 million isk. Now, most of that, I think, is because the price on it has gone down. Um, I wonder if... Well, viewing it in the market out here would be ridiculous. Um, probably it's low, too, in this area because uh, there is no real market out here. So, um, But uh, that's how much it's worth. So even fit it out. So we're going to strip it down here. It doesn't have any rigs, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go on in here. And I'm going to make my hurricane active. Oh, well, actually, no, I have it saved. Good, that's why I saved it. I wanted to explain the fit. It's uh, basically a blaster fit, a little bit of ammo, and a little bit of drone damage. But what I want to do is take its fit and compare it to the Hurricane, um, because there's a major difference between the two. Um, mostly with the pre-made ships that you don't have to skill into, the Praxis um, and the Gnosis, I think it's a practice. Um, the bonuses you get are static. Uh, you get a 50% bonus to your drones. Um, it doesn't matter what skills you have that go up. There is no uh, uh, Sister of Conscious Thought ship tree um, skilling into. That's what you get. Those are your role bonuses for flying the ship. Whereas with the faction ships, um, the Hurricane being one of them, each level that you go up in uh, Minmatar uh, Battlecruiser, you get the bonuses of it. So I'm going to go ahead and... But what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the uh, Gnosis down, um, because, to be honest with you, I melted down so much junk, I don't have a whole lot to load on to the uh, Hurricane. <laughs> um, and I'm going to refit the Hurricane with the junk I have lying around. Uh, the one thing I will say is that uh, now that I have built a pretty good ship, I'm not going to limit myself down the road of only flying with items uh, that I find. If I want to get a better fit, I may start buying a few items or focusing on building them. But uh, So let's get started with it. So we've got... And I have my backup rupture here if I need to, if I get both of them killed. Let's go ahead and we're in a hurricane. We're going to... Uh, strip fitting, yes, there we go. So everything that I had on the ship should be there. Now the only other thing I like to do is to, I hit, could hit control A, I don't know why I didn't do that. I like to repackage everything so that I know how much I have of different items, especially the guns. So there we go. Stack all. Something here need to be repaired. I'm just going to double check that here. Uh, get a repair quote. The uh, benefactor. Okay. I guess so. Not a big deal. Okay. So everything there is repackaged. So I have a good feel of what I have in stock. Um, and I still have the snip over here of the Gnosis before I fit, uh, split it out. I'm going to try to fit the Hurricane similar to the Gnosis to start off with, so I can get a good comparison of the two um, as a training exercise, and then start messing around with it as long as I don't die. Um, and I have another blueprint that I can make four more of these, so I'm not too worried. And the fact that I built it off of re um, reprocessed stuff, perfectly fine with. So, let's just see here. Uh, what I might toy around with is, in the future, my um, Gnosis was fit with Blaster Fit. Down the road, my first changes might be to go to the uh, long-range medium guns here. So, we're going to check that out, but not right now. I'm going to go with the Blasters, just like I had the other one. Um, so, here, here it is, right here. Uh, good, good, good. First thing I always want to do is, so I don't forget it, drop in my damage control. Now this is just regular damage control, not one of the upgrades. You can definitely get some more of those. Uh, there's much better ones you can do, but this is just the basic one I have. And then always want to have my propulsion. 
I was flying with a 50mn uh, micro warp drive on the uh, uh, Gnosis. I'm going to do the same thing here so I can close my distances. Uh, there you are. Good. Because if you're blaster fit, you need to get in close onto um, the uh, bad guys. So those are my first two things I always like to start off with. And by no means am I an expert at this. Um, I'll go ahead and repackage that since we fixed it. Um, this is just how I experiment, how I mess around with stuff, especially with the things that I find. Okay, so big comparison here. You'll notice some of the differences between the two. The um, Gnosis here has six slots up top and can be fitted with five guns or five missile bays. It also has uh, six slots here and six slots down the bottom. So basically six, six, they should change that. I'm not even a religious person in that 666. Okay, we're going to go, um, uh, yep, so there it is. So we got, <laughs> so uh, flying a ship that isn't 666 to automatically makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so up top here, we've got seven slots, but we can still only fit six blasters. Now, with the Gnosis, we could only fit five blasters, so that's a little bit of a bonus. So what is the best blaster that I can do? Um, I always want to throw my blasters on first because they're going to take the most of my uh, CPU or my, uh, I'm not, can't remember which one of them that is, um, and we'll find out here, or my power grid. Power grid on this is not as good as the Gnosis. If you can see here, Gnosis has a power grid of 1500. The Hurricane has a power grid of 1425. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Show info. So the bonuses that you get per level of Minmatar Battlecruiser are for your turrets. You're going to get a 25... 5% uh, bonus to medium projectile turrets damage and 5% on your medium projectile turret rate of fire. So I'm getting one extra gun and 5% per level. I think if I remember correctly, uh, the Gnosis was giving me a 25% across the board. So almost very close. Ironically, this gets me a little bit more because I can throw another gun on there. But it also, and people forget about this, the uh, the guns actually stack. So 5% bonus, and then second level is another 5% bonus, but that's 5% on top of the first 5%. So by the time you get to fifth level, you're talking, and it's not a huge difference, but maybe 126 or 27%. But every little bit counts. Let's take another look here uh, to compare the two. Um... That was fitted, so that's not going to help a whole lot. I could pull up a Gnosis here later on, compare the two. Actually, let's do that. So, I'm going to pull up a Gnosis. And uh, I said this in my last video, I wanted to thank, uh, I think it was Mercedes. I think I, if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, he reminded me that you can bring up separate info screens if you hold down the shift button and then hit enter. So I'm going to do that here with the two. Did I spell it? No, I always spell hurricane. I don't know why I always want to put an I in there. There we go. And shift. Enter. So this is a great way to uh, compare. Ah, okay. There we go. So this is a great way to compare the two. And this was what I was talking about earlier. You get a 25% bonus to your projectile turrets with the Gnosis. Um, now that's just damage. The big difference here is you also get, and this is medium guns, a 
5% bonus on your rate of fire. So you're doing more damage, but you're also doing a little bit faster. So that's where you, plus you're going to get one extra gun on there. So you want to focus, I tried to focus on this right here. This is going when I'm testing things out. What is the bonuses that that ship gives me? This is where it does it for me. Now, the place I don't get my stuff is I don't get a bonus to my drones. So, basically what will happen is I will um, only probably be using my drones to kill the small ships that are flying around me. Most of my damage on the big boys are going to be for my guns. I'm still going to be able to do some damage, but I'm not going to focus on it. Last but not least down here, just for flying the ship, I also get a roll bonus of 25% optimal range and fall off, which will allow me to hit ships more accurately and do more damage that way. So a lot of bonuses if you focus on the one thing it does. This is an overall around good ship. Same thing there. Attributes here. Okay, so structure hit points. The Gnosis has a little bit more than the uh, Hurricane. Capacity, a uh, lot more capacity there. Drone bandwidth, now we're not focused on the drones, but uh, we got drone, so I'm only probably gonna be flying some light drones with this sucker. With I could throw in five light drones and maybe three salvage drones just to pick some stuff up. Mass, the Hurricane has a larger mass, so it's not gonna be moving as quickly. It, it, as it says there, affects acceleration and turning speed negatively. Volume. Well, that's a larger ship. What does that mean? That means that it can be scanned down easier. If I'm not, if I'm understanding correctly, the space that the object takes up when placed in a bay or a container. Inertia modifier affects the acceleration and turning speed positively as the value decreases. So um, the hurricane does not turn as quickly as Gnosis. So so far, the hurricane is not looking as good. So let's pop, pop down here to the um, armor. Armor hit points, 4,500. So it's got a little bit more armor than Gnosis. Shield capacity, 4,500, 4,000. Um, and then... Where is my... my structure? Is my brain not functioning here? Shield. Shield capacity. Armor capacity. I'm sorry. It's getting a little bit late. Um, Alright. Not a big problem. Capacitor is a little bit smaller. Um, it being smaller, it charges up faster. Not really, it's just smaller, so it has less to charge up. So don't get weirded out by that. It's got a smaller capacitor. Down here, we're going to go with maximum targeting range. So it's got a longer targeting range. So um, this is actually a positive for me in the future going with the long range guns. Um, lock targets, that's not a big deal. Six versus seven. Signature radius. Now, Smaller values increase the time to lock onto this target. So this is a weird one. Um, the signature radius for the hurricane is actually a little bit smaller than the Gnosis, so it takes it will take longer for the bad guys to actually lock onto you. Scan resolution. Um, larger values increase target locking speed, so it actually targets slower than the Gnosis, so some ups and downs there. And sensor strength, I'll get into that later on. I don't know it that well. Uh, maximum velocity, it does fly faster. Oh, well, that's a big difference. It goes at 180 meters per second versus 135. So throwing the afterburn, I'm sorry, the micro warp drive onto it, I'll be able to close that distance a lot faster. So currently there's some ups and downs um, on the two, but uh, pretty interesting. Fitting-wise, always want to check out the fitting. CPU output, a um, little bit less. We're at 444 versus uh, 400. A little bit less for your power grid. Um, calibration is the same. Uh, you can, Like I said earlier, you can throw on an extra gun. And slots, and this is a big one here. 
you got one more high slot, but two less medium slots. So where I had the Gnosis shield fit here, I might want to go with a armor fit for the Hurricane. The other thing to think about is that since the Hurricane does fly faster than the uh, Gnosis, maybe at some point I want to try out an afterburner and go, as crazily as it might sound, maybe a speed tank so I don't get hit as quickly. Um, I don't know. That's something to think about. Requirements? This is the big one. Remember how I said anyone can fly this. You do not have to do basically are given spaceship command to start the game because it's a spaceship flying spaceship game and these are the things that you have to have for battle course we really it doesn't take you long to get these but you have to have them mastery this is what i'll start working on to go right down the road here um so what are some things that i need to work on well we'll get into that later the one thing i did not do on purpose because I want a baseline, I always like doing a baseline with these, is I did not skill up into Minmatar Battlecruiser. I only did level 1. Because I want to see at level 1 what you have, and then within a day, I can pretty much get to level 3. Within like 3 or 4 days, I think I can get to level 4. And I want to see how these skills ten, uh, uh, maximize the ship, uh, grow grow its abilities with those bonuses that it has. So we're good there. So let's get to building. Again, just going to use the stuff that I've scavenged around. Let's go ahead and stack all this stuff up. I'm betting the initial setup for the ship is will not look as good as the Gnosis, but maybe with specifying things and focusing on certain things, I might be able to make it a better ship. I'm hoping I do. Um... So, here we go. Here's my there items. Good. Now I could use the fitting tool. Eh, whatever. We're just going to throw some stuff on here. Um, we're going to use fusion ammo. I don't have a whole lot left. I need to make some of that tomorrow, but we're going to use that as our baseline because that's what I have in the uh, Gnosis. Let's go ahead and scroll on down here. Good, good, good. I've already got the uh, damage control. Next thing I want to look for are guns. We're going to go with the rail guns. We want to go with the best medium rail guns that I can find, that I can get six of them on there. I don't want to mess around with uh, only using five and one or something. Since I have six of something, I just want to do that alpha strike and see what I can do for damage. So as you can see here, the scout auto cannon is the best one that I could actually put on here, and I could put five and then one or the other. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put um, six medium repeating cannons. They're the lower level of the guns, but I can do six at once. Once I get my sixth scout one, I'll switch them out to see what the difference is. Again, just testing things out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go. And that's... See how right here, this is the entire power grid going on right now. So that's that's a little scary. Now with the um, Gnosis here, I had bulked it up shield-wise. I had actually thrown on three separate shield extenders. Um, I'm not going to do that with this one. Uh, the... Um, the shield bonuses on it to start off at 33%. If I'm not mistaken, the guys in the area do um, a lot of explosive and kinetic damage with some thermal thrown in. So I'm not going to worry so much about that. I definitely want to throw on to make it similar to the Gnosis to test it out. I want to even this out. I'm going to throw on a thermal uh, defense. So let's go down here and find the compact thermal. I could throw on the multispectral. Not going to mess with that just yet. This is an opening try. I want to throw on a um, shield extender. Which one? This is the compact one. We're going to go with the the regular large one here first. So we still got some room. Now we want to bulk up the guns. Now first, let's go ahead and group these guns, because that's how we're going to fire. And we're going to 
drop our ammo onto it just to see what the damage is currently. So right now it's only doing 137 damage per second. Okay. Um, that is not good. Because <laughs> uh, the damage per second with the um, Gnosis here was 334. Now that's also with the drones thrown in, so let's go grab some drones and throw those in here. We've got some hornets there. Oh, I never did grab the drones out of the gnosis here. We'll go with some hobgoblins. Boo, boo, boo. And some hornets. There we go. Why not? Uh, we'll try out some different ones later on. I know I'm not going to use the Alkalites, but I may want to use the others. We'll just see what we got in the area. So that bumped our damage up to 190. So that's a real a baseline right now. Good, good, good. What was it at? 130-something? So that bumped it up 60. Um... First, next thing I want to do is increase the damage. Oh, I did have a little missile launcher on here too. So let's do that just to get our baseline a little bit more. That might bump us over 200. Uh, going to need a heavy missile launcher. Probably don't need this, but just to keep it in the same wavelength as the other. There you are, advanced Lamos. Good. And then I had some Nova missiles in here, so we're going to drop that there. And oh, I've accumulated a decent... These are all missiles that I've gotten off of bad guys. We're going to go with 300 just to put those in the bay. Okay, that puts us at 203. So we're still 130 behind the damage that the uh, Gnosis was doing. Um... So I need to upgrade these here. The, the way to do that is to throw on, where are you there? Come on, there it is. My counterbalance gyro stabilizers. This, these increase, they're a upgrade from the regular gyro stabilizers and they increase damage and rate of fire, if I'm not mistaken. Show info. Description. Uh, bonus to speed and damage of projectile turrets. So we will go ahead and I'm going to drop three of them on here if they'll fit. Because this is what you're focused on. We still have some power grid. We still get a little bit of power grid going on there. Um, I had three of them on there. We're at 276, so we're only 60 behind now. Uh, last but not least, we did have a little bit of drone damage on there before. I don't know if I'll keep this, but just to keep it as consistent as the other one. And we had an inertial stabilizer just so I could get in and out quickly. Still got a little bit of room. And then the last one here is, I could go with another shield extender. Let's do um, medium. That's what I had basically on the ship before. Will that fit? There's the question. Strain shield extender. That's the compact shield extender. I've got a... Restrained one there. Let's drop it, see if it fits. It did fit. So this is a basic fit. I'm able to roll along and do stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing 286 DPS, which is actually less than what the Gnosis was doing, but with a chance of maybe improving. One thing that I could look at is these gyro stabilizers do stack. So every one that you put on gives you a little bit less of a bonus. Maybe switch out this drone damage amplifier with a gyro stabilizer. We'll check that out here. Let's uh, do that. And a low. Good. And here's my ship. Let's drop this down. So we're at 286. Let's go ahead and drop this out. 
and counterbalance 286 to 287. So it gave me a little bit of a bonus. The question is, as my skills go up, will this actually increase that? Because it wasn't going to increase my drone. So my drones were stagnant with the bonus that the drone damage amplifier was going to do. This might not be because it compounds on top of the skills that I have for it. So once I get to level 2 of a uh, uh, Mimitar battle cruiser, we'll see what it can do. I'm going to go with this the way it is right now. This is a little different um, without the drone damage. I'm fine with that. Um, last but not least, there was something else here. Oh, before I forget, since I'm only at level 1, so I can check it tomorrow, uh, I am going to drop in the Minmatar Battle Cruiser level 2 here. So I have something to look forward to tomorrow morning when I wake up. I'm going to boot it up and see what the difference is here. I'm at 287. Uh, let's go ahead and file, save as. And we're going to say Gnosis Junk Fits. And it's going to go to our desktop, save. And we're going to create a new snip. I just want to keep a record of this so I can see what the what the bump up is as soon as I go up that one level. And we're going to say file save as hurricane junk fit battle cruiser one. Sure. And it's going to go to the desktop and save. Alrighty then. So we got that all saved. This will be a little bit of fun tonight, as long as I don't die. Uh, I might not even fly it tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's getting a little bit late. I'm getting a little bit tired. But uh, I'm ready to roll. Oh, I don't have that much ammo either. So what I might do is take the time to fly over where I'm building my ammo and uh, bring that back over. Last but not least, and this is kind of interesting, uh... And this might be that last hint. All of this has been kind of a hint. Uh, this is how I kind of mess around and toy around with things that are out here. Um, like I said before, everything that I, every ship that I built so far has been mostly things that I found from other ships. Uh, if I find equipment that I'm definitely not going to use, I just melt it down so I can build more ships. Um, in the future, now that I'm starting to build a little bit better ships, I might buy some upgraded ones. Um, uh, parts for them, maybe some uh, uh, faction level or some tech twos, uh, but I'll fly around in the basic fits first until I get used to it. But here's the kicker. Um, as I was melting, slowly melting everything down, I found that the toughest thing for me to get was titanium for this battle cruiser. Uh, and so as I kept breaking down equipment, I would get the Tritanium, but then all the other minerals were lying around, just sitting around waiting to be used. And I've slowly accumulated a glut of extra minerals here. 149 million isk worth of extra minerals. Um, if you can see here, I only have 76,000. I literally got as close, as soon as I got just enough Tritanium to build this ship, I did. But I've got, um, there's five more million of Zydrine. So... I've got this much here. I've got over 150 million with, worth of extra minerals that I can sell in the market, um, hold on to, maybe use it for something else. Uh, but that's a nice little uh, positive. And I'm over a billion in net worth now. Woo! Last but not least, let's just check here. So remember the Gnosis was worth like 45 or 50 million is. This hurricane is actually worth, with almost the same fit, 75 million isk. Um, that is your uh, uh, demand, I think, um, mostly. Off the top of my head, I might be wrong with this, but so many Gnosis were giving out for free that they're low cost right now. Um, 
I'm not too worried about it. I want something that I can skill into and mess around with. The Gnosis is a really nice backup ship that uh, you can take with you to an area um, and not worry about losing. But it there's no growth with it in my mind. Uh, might be a good wormhole ship because it can scan and get those scan bonuses. Maybe uh, give it to new players um, that um, want to hang out. Uh, that sort of thing because they, that might be something. Um, but yeah, so that is fun in crappy fitting, junk fitting. A lot of people ask me why I come up with these fits. This is where it is. Um, oh, wow, I have some... Uh, that was from that guy that died that I found his junk. His... A lot of this stuff is... Uh, I roll across ships that have been killed by other players. Uh, a lot of these upgraded stuff, and then I got some Sister Core scanner probes. Did not know I had those. I, I do need to get a probe ship out here. Ironically, the Benvatar um, uh, probing ship is a uh, probe, <laughs> is the name. I want to do it similar to uh, my other character, uh, Amos Abraham. Uh, he is out in Syndicate right now. I'm trying out, if you saw my last video, I almost died. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, mess around with combat sites out in Nullsec now. Um, I sh hopefully have a little bit more success doing battle cruisers here. It'll give me more options. Um, but that's where I'm going with that. Okay. Went a little bit long. My last one was short, so I'm happy with that. Uh, you guys have a great night. Um, have a great weekend. I'm going to have a lot more fun tomorrow, too. I think it's raining most of the day. I have to pay some bills and get some stuff done inside the house. I'm going to hang some drywall. But other than that, I'm going to play a lot of video games. A lot of Eve, actually. Um, so... Fly safe, fly dangerously. Hey, are you saying hi? She's here to say hi again. Oh, she came in from the rain. Can you see her? There she is. Come on up. Come on up. Here you go, Amanda. There you are. That's my girl. That's my girl. Yeah. Can you say hi? There she is. Good girl. You're all wet. You're, you're a wet dog. You're a wet dog. Yeah, you are. Okay. There you go my buddy. Alrighty. You guys have a great night. Fly safe. Fly dangerously. Fly however the heck you want. And I will talk to you soon. Any questions, concerns, just message me. Have a good one.